Hi, is Jeremy there? Hey, Jeremy, this is R.J. Bates calling about your property there on Autumn Street. How are you doing? I'm oh, doing well. How are you? Pretty good. You uh, just entered this on my website saying you want to sell that property. Is that correct? That's, that is correct. All righty. How much are you looking to get for that property? One hundred and fifty. That's just what I'm asking, you know. I got gotcha. you. And uh, it does come with an additional, uh, roughly four acres of land back behind it that is connected to it. So. Okay. Okay. And is that a is that a house or what is it? Gotcha, and it's 3,400 square feet? No, not that big. Yeah. Or is it 1,700? It, it's closer to 1,700. Okay. okay. I've, had, uh, I've had a stroke, um, so my memory is not the best in the world. I got you. No worries. So, which is one of the reasons I wanted to sell the place. Um, you know, leasing or uh, renting it out just is too much work. I'd rather just, you know, sell it and be done with it and enjoy the rest of my days. <laughs> Gotcha. Is it uh, vacant right now, or is it occupied? Uh, it's working on being vacated. Uh, they were the uh, the wife is still there, uh, but the husband has already moved out and has been out there for over a month. Um, I had the uh, rental agreement with him before she moved in. So I actually am waiting on her to get moved out because uh, we didn't have any agreement. I see. For it. So. Are they, were they paying rent or are they non-paying? Yes. They were paying rent, you know, and it was, it, it was very amicable, amicable, you know, uh, they were, uh, still are friends of mine. I see. So. All righty. Um, what is the condition like? Does the property need any work? A, uh, a pane of glass that it's in fair shape, livable shape. Uh, I think one of those uh, needs replacing. Uh, let's see. Uh, the basement could probably use some work. But like, what about like the roof and the HVAC and stuff like that? Is that in good condition? Uh, the, the central unit is relatively new. Uh, it's within, it's less than 10 years old. Um, Cause I had it replaced uh, the year before I moved up to Huntsville. And that was in 2016, 17, 2017. Gotcha. So, but the uh, the roof, let's 
the the roof is uh, roughly 10 years old, 20-year uh, shingles. Okay. Hmm. All right, bear with me. I'm we'll get some different properties around the area. Oh, I couldn't even hear it. Don't worry, don't worry about that. So you said there's four acres on this as well, right? Yes, sir. Roughly. In addition to the uh, plot of land that the house itself is on. Is that a separate address? Um, I really honestly don't know. It's the plot of land that's direct. If you're looking at the uh, website, uh, the Marion County website, uh -huh. it, it would be the plot of land directly behind it. Gotcha. Um, I, see I see that. So, how much acreage is that again? Is it showing on there? Well, I'm not on that website. I'm on a different one. Fair enough. And what it says is it says 1.6 acres for the address of 324 Autumn. So I'm thinking that there's another plot behind it that you own as well. And that's what's getting us to the four acres. Right. I'm, um, uh, I'm thinking I need to be about 120. You said 120? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Honestly, I could probably do that. Um, I think that would be a fair price. Um. You know, I hate uh, marketing. Me, I really do. Me too. So, you know, with, you know, that would be helping me out. And I'm sure it would, you know, you would make money on it too when you go to resell it. So, um, and I'll be honest with you, I'm I'm being fair on my numbers. I, I don't try to lowball people or anything like that. That's why I always try to ask people up front, how much do you want? So I have an idea uh, if I can just make that work. Um, what I'm really seeing is there are a couple of properties around there that sold for more um, then there's a couple that sold for right in that 150 range. Uh, yeah. And, it, you know, I'm assuming that there's been tenants there and they're moving out. I'm probably going to have to come in and, and do, you know, some rehab to the property for sure. Um, that's where I'm coming up with that 120. 
So the way our process works is if you're okay with that, I send over a contract to your email, which I have uh is correct, sir. Okay. So I would send over the agreement to that email. Once you sign that, I'm going to need to gain access to the property. Now, I know that's a problem right now because we have a tenant inside it, right? Right. And I'm assuming she's not participating or, or playing nice, right? Yeah, she um, was uh, trying to get the property back from the tenant. And right. Um, you know. Like I said, we were at one point in time friends, so, you know, I was thinking, hoping she would, you know, play nice, but, um, you know, she doesn't have any, you know, lease with her name on it that I've signed, so, um, like I said, the original agreement I had about the whole thing was with her husband right uh, long before you know they even got married before they even got together um so um well what's the time frame of getting her removed from the property hopefully less than three months okay is that too far? Um, no, but what I will say is, is I would like to close when she moves out, if that's okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, whenever she moves out, then we can schedule closing and stuff. But I don't want to. I don't want to essentially buy her too, you know. Right. Right. Yes, I. You know, she will. Um, no. I, I'm not sure, but I think I still have uh, a couple of pieces of furniture inside the house that uh, I'll need to get out, or I want to get out, uh, like my grandmother's uh, uh, table. Okay. No worries. You know, my sinuses are giving me fits. No worries. Ever since I had the stroke and uh, drink and all that kind of stuff just put me. <clears throat> Take your time, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, whenever the tenant moves out, we can schedule closing for whenever we need it to be. So we can give you time to get that stuff moved out. Okay. Oh. Well, let me get a. Well, uh, you said you were going to email me a, a contract. Uh, yes, sir. I'm writing it up right now. Okay. Uh, and it'll have a way to reach you? Um, yes, I will make sure to put my phone number right below my signature. Okay. And uh, what did you say your name was again? My name is R.J. Bates. R.J. Bates? Yep. B-A-T-E-S? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Mr. Bates, I appreciate that. 
Well, I appreciate you, and uh, let's make this a smooth, simple transaction. Yes, sir. All righty. Well, Jeremy, I'll get this written up. I'll get it sent over to you. Feel free to give me a call when, uh, whenever you get it, if you have any questions, okay? All right, Mr. Bates, I appreciate your time, and I appreciate your uh, your professional courtesy with me, and, you know, and thank you for being understanding. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeremy. All right. You have a blessed day, okay? You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.